right, Algebra 1, Lesson 17. This is on factors and coefficients, terms, and then the distributive property. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about terms first. Um, you can read over what um, factors and coefficients are um, if you want to. That's on page 74, but I'm going to want to move on to the important part today. We're going to talk about terms. So let's look at this. And I want to talk about it for just a minute. Okay, I've got x plus 4xym minus 6p over y plus 2 and then minus 8. Now, all I'm showing you this for is for you to see this. You see that plus, that minus, and that minus? Those plus and minus signs um, separate every term. So it tells me that a term could just be a letter, X. A term could be a number and several letters. Another term could be 6p over y plus 2, letters and numbers divided, and then just numbers. So this is a term, this is a term, this is a term, this is a term. So there are four terms in this problem if we were to do it. But I'm just, we're not going to do the problem. I'm just showing you that these minuses and pluses break apart our terms to show us how many terms there are. All right, and so what you're going to learn to do is to find um, the answer to certain terms. So let's just look at this 6p for just a minute. For a minute, all right? Now, if you were to see this negative 6py plus 2, just that problem, and they told me that p was negative 4, p is negative 4, and y is 1. Okay, so let me change my p to a negative 4, and my y to a 1. All right, now, when you work this problem, we're going to work the term, and then we're going to consider this. Now, 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. 1 plus 2 is 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8, and since I have a negative right there, it's negative. But, look at this one on the outside. That would be as if negative, negative. So it's the opposite of negative 8, which would be just positive 8. Okay? Just wanted you to see that. All right. Now, let's move to doing the distributive property. We're going to talk a little bit more about terms on the next lesson. But let's look at the distributive property for just a minute. Okay? Um, let's talk about this first, and I'm going to show you what the distributive property does. Normally, when you see a problem like this, you would say, let's do parentheses first, 5 minus 3, 2, and then 4, bring it down, 4 times 2 is 8, and that is the right answer, okay? But I'm going to teach you how to use this same method, but we're going to do, it. well, we're not the same method, a different method, and it's called the distributive property. So watch what I do, okay? There's my one answer doing it that way. And I'm going to take the same problem, okay, same problem, but I'm going to use the distributive property, okay? And the distributive property means you take what's on the outside and you multiply. You see how this says 4 and it's supposed to be multiplied by the 5? So you're going to say 4 times 5 is 20 minus, see the minus? So we did the 4 times the first number. And now we're going to do the, the 4 times this number, but there's a minus in the middle. So 20 minus, and then 4 times 3 is 12. Now 20 minus 12 is 8. Still got the same answer. I'm just teaching you how to do the distributive property, okay? Hopefully you're understanding what the distributive property means. Um, it's just you taking what's on the outside and multiplying on what's on the inside one step at a time instead of figuring out the inside answer and then multiplying it, okay? Now, let's do another one, okay? 
And the next one's going to have letters in it. So let's get really familiar with the numbers only before we start adding letters. Okay. You ready? Now, um, the first thing I'm going to do, just because I like to work with um, negative um, numbers changing these minuses to negative numbers, I'm going to change this from minus to a plus negative and this minus to a plus negative. That's going to help us out a lot as we continue on. Now, first step in the distributed property, you're going to go boom, 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24. Then you're going to write down the next sign, plus. Then you're going to take 4 and multiply it by the next number, which is negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Got it? Then I've got a plus. I'm going to bring down my plus. Now I'm going to take 4 times the next number, which is a 5. 4 times 5 is 20. And then I've got a plus. And then I'm going to go 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. All right? And now I've got my full answer in adding and subtracting. You see that? So now I just go from left to right. 24 plus a negative 8 means I'm going to subtract. And I'll end up getting 16. And I take the sign of my biggest number, which is a positive. 16 plus 20 plus negative 28 just brought everything else down. 16 plus 20 is 36. 36 plus a negative 28. And that's going to give us 8 as our final answer. Are we right? Yes, we are. Okay, final answer, 8. Let's do another problem. Now we're going to add letters. And now it doesn't get any harder. It's just adding letters. So it's going to look harder. All right. M, N. And then in my parentheses, I've got X plus Y plus 2P. Now, stay with me. You're just multiplying each other. And all that means is just mix them together. This M, N times x looks like m n x. That's it. Okay? m n times